Hello guys, in this video I will guide you on how to connect Android TV to Wi-Fi without the remote control. So if your Android TV remote control is not working or for some reasons you misplaced it and you still want to be able to connect your Android TV to internet Wi-Fi without the physical remote control, there are basically two ways you can go about doing this. By the way, this will work for any type of Android TV you have and even if you have an Android TV stick or an Android TV box, this will also work out pretty well for you. That being said, the first and easiest way to connect your Android TV to internet Wi-Fi without the remote control is to simply change your current Wi-Fi name and password which you want your Android TV to connect to, to the exact Wi-Fi name and password that your Android TV has been connected to previously. Trust me, automatically your Android TV will connect to your new Wi-Fi network thinking that it is the previous one. Now let's take for instance, if I want my Android TV over here to connect to my phone's hotspot, all I just have to do is to go ahead and change the hotspot name and password to the previous Wi-Fi or hotspot that the Android TV has connected to before. You can do the same thing with your Wi-Fi as well. You just have to change your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. So practically, I will go over to the hotspot settings which I want my Android TV to connect to and then here is the hotspot settings. I will just go ahead and select it. If you're connecting to your home router or Wi-Fi, make sure you also get into the Wi-Fi settings as well. And then here that we have the set portable hotspot settings, I'll just go ahead and change the SSID which is basically my hotspot name and then the password as well. So I'll go ahead and change mine. Okay, so I have just changed the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password as you can see over here. Click on the OK button once you've changed the Wi-Fi name and password, then proceed to turn on your hotspot or your Wi-Fi. Now, all you just have to do is to give your Android TV some few seconds or some minutes and trust me, it will automatically detect your new Wi-Fi network thinking that it is the previous one and automatically connects to it. But if after about 5 minutes your Android TV does still not automatically connect to your Wi-Fi network, all you just have to do is to go ahead and turn off the TV and then turn it on again. This will actually make it to restart and search for available Wi-Fi networks and then it will automatically connect to your new Wi-Fi or your hotspot network thinking that it is the previous Wi-Fi or hotspot network. Okay, so I have just turned off my Android TV and turned it on now. Then you can literally see it has just automatically recognized my new Wi-Fi network thinking that it is the previous one and automatically connected. So this is actually very simple and trust me, it works pretty well without any problem. But if after trying this method, it does not work out for you, another method you can still use to connect your Android TV to Wi-Fi without the remote control is to simply use a wired keyboard or mouse just like this one over here. Now, this is actually a wired keyboard and you can connect it to any of the USB ports at the back of your Android TV. If you also have a keyboard with a USB dongle, that will also work pretty fine. Once it is connected to your Android TV, you can simply use these navigation buttons to navigate on your Android TV and then connect your Android TV to Wi-Fi without necessarily using the remote control. So you can see I am actually navigating through my Android TV over here and I can actually go over to Wi-Fi, select Wi-Fi and and also search for my Wi-Fi network and connect to it without any problem. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel guys.